Welcome. It's almost that moment in time of in the month that we are going to release ISOs. So middle of every month, more or less middle of every month, we're releasing all our ISOs. We build them again and we have our Article Linux, the flagship with XFC Openbox Type 3. We have Article Linux D, which, with which you can do anything, right? And during installation in Calamaris, you can install 16 desktops or you can just skip everything in Calamars and run our scripts and install anything you like. So it's a very minimal ISO. Article X B is where we give all the power to you. Article X ISO, you should see the flagship as the ISO for us. And Article X B, that's the ISO for you guys. We have there 16, actually 17 ISOs you can choose because there is a special one, the extended, and extended is just to promote tiling window managers and as a fallback we have open box so it's all there for you guys and what we do every month is what's new that's not this video and keep rolling that's this video and i um want to put in into um your attention of how you say that how i want to tell you guys that in youtube there is a playlist a lots of playlists i have 197 playlists about Arch Linux, about Arch Linux and BSPWN and so on. You can keep on scrolling Arch Linux, Arch Get Started, five videos about it. So it's all conveniently put into a playlist and have a look at it, right? Now, what I'm always doing is putting my new Stay Rolling um, video into the playlist. There are just general keep up to date things like proving to you guys that I have a SSD of eight months that I haven't been I haven't touched and I just update everything and so I'm, I'm, I'm um, just proving to you guys that it's still possible to update Arch Linux slash Arch Linux to to date right so people often there are some some uh, how do you say uh, rumors or, or false information uh, just lies basically that uh, you need to update Arch Linux every day otherwise it will crash no so there are videos enough to prove otherwise now this video this this playlist here Arch Linux update video stay rolling that's 15 videos already and as it goes with these these videos they have here in, in the top corner a button and you can just uh, navigate so from April to May and from March to April and from February to March and so on. You go back into time, right? So the update video is always something new, always something educational because we always um, have something to tell, right? So any of these videos will teach you a lot. So without further ado, I'm gonna make the 20.5 to 20.6, it's due. So we boot up. Um, I have just installed what version? Good question. We have sysinfo for that. Sysinfo. Nice little script. Tells you we are at version 20.5.7. This is VirtualBox. I've just installed it. Done nothing, right? Done nothing. Just boot it up. And um, we're going to version 20.6.5. Not that the numbers are important. If it still says 20.1.1, you might be up to date, right? That's not important. It's a reference in time, meaning it's the ISO of May. All right, we have this red thing down here, which is PAMAC and which is cool. It says a graphical user interface. It's gonna say, we're gonna download 1.2 gigabyte, right? So one month time in Arch Linux, this is normal. I know this is not normal in other distros. So either you uh, adapt and you think that's the new normal or you just choose another Linux distro because it's not gonna change. It's a lot of um, downloads. And I hear people coming from other continents and other places saying, I don't have that kind of bandwidth, right? So that's, this is not uh, the right distro for you then. So um, I show you the graphical user interface, but we are going to teach you to go into a terminal because the terminal, um, well, whatever a graphical thing does, it's going to 
launch commands in the backend and do stuff in the terminal anyway. So why not learn immediately our command update? You know that those are aliases. Just type the word alias in and you'll see you'll have a text. I do like you to go to uh, Arch Linux at some point in time or maybe other variations of Arch Linux, right? So it's uh, all out there. It's a lot of um, distros out there and a lot of distros are based on Arch Linux. So have a look at them if you like them. You can switch. Now, at this point in time, I'm downloading at this speed, Control C. Let's say I don't like it. This is too slow for me, right? We have a Control Alt W. I'm going to do something different than I normally do. We have this button, Control Alt W, update Arch Linux. Go for it. So what's happening is going to have a look. Let's quickly do this. And mirror list, old SQL CC, never heard about it. That's not normally my fastest uh, repo. So let's wait till we have the done thing. So updating your mirror list, this may take some time, is asking lots and lots of server uh, servers out there of Arch Linux, not Arch Linux. Which one is the fastest, right? In Belgium, in your continent, in your town. And I'm going to wait till it says done. Then hopefully this will be faster because this is the speed of the download, right? So I have my done. This used to be, remember, old SQL, control X, again, and mirror list. I still have old SQL, but it did change because that's the time. 714 minus two always in my case anyway and so this has to be must be at this point in time still the fastest thing around so okay it will be what it is but normally there are moments in time that i get 40 or 50 megabytes per second which is of course zoof uh, much faster <laughs> All right, so this can go. I have updated my mirrors, the best I can do for today in this video. Now, when we update, we update from different sources. We update from Arch Linux, 90% of Arch Linux is Arch Linux, 5% is Arch Linux, and that's what we do with update. If you have installed stuff from the AOR, what is stuff from the AOR? I don't know, uh, let's go yay icons. You can install all these extra, that's Arch Community, that's Arch. And this is repo third party, that's us, Arch Linux. And here we start, AOR. So anything from Arch user repository, if you install more stuff to your system, stuff that we don't have, well, with an up all, you get uh, the rest. So up all, that's another command. It says it can't do it because, hey, Pac-Man is already busy, so can actually launch it and walk away and when this is finished this one will continue let's stop here and an alias of all just have a look what it is just say update with yay minus s and conf no confirm meaning just install the bunch update everything without all the yes the yes enter 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 and if you have something like i know 10 uh, packages from aur you have to press enter 40 times if you do not put no confirm after it. Again, this is a choice. All right, we have something to explain. Arch Linux works with packages and the packages are signed, signed by a PGP key, right? Jan Alexander Steffens, heftig, heftig at archlinux.org, seems to be a new key, right? So I'm launching Arch Linux. Uh, the Firefox, I mean, and I'm going to Arch Linux and then uh, key signing or something. Let's see, key sign, of course. 
master signing keys and you just read on read why we have keys official signing keys each key is held by a different developer the revocation certificate for the keys held by a different developer and so on so these guys maybe we can find them alexander stephens jan alexander stephens so that's his key and we have yes 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 and no which means okay levanta polyak does not have the key or something i don't know what these things mean but um it works with a web of trust so these people i trust you you trust me and then so on and we have uh, the possibility to cross signature and so on but basically we need keys now if you talk about keys you always that's one of the things you should remember certainly when you're going to update a pc like one year old or something like that right remember the word arch linux this is arch linux and remember that and then the key ring that's something you should remember because pacman stops if he doesn't recognize the key it stops right we need to do something here let's say yes so we can continue and another yes so keys are important and updating your arch linux key ring is super important and it, it's i don't know it's updated regularly but not that much arch linux key ring let's see if we can get that one so we have here the sources and the commits 0604 so we have had a recent one but nine hours and so on so four days five days we jump here from let's say december january and then f in, in april and then two months later right so two three months and we get new keys in but that's important of course if you have an, an a system that's three months old well surely there will be new key ring, new keys in and first before you update you just get those in otherwise it gets stuck the system it will say some kind of message you can see it in the other update videos but that's important key rings and the signing of the packages now when you update the system i rather do it in a terminal why because it says something it always showing it's showing what it's doing it's upgrading it's updating and so on so a lot of information comes in here you also know because you've you've seen it that simple screen recorder has just got an update if there is an issue you know oh yeah but there was an update all right and what else why am i going in here as well because of the fact that sometimes article linux is going to put things in etc scale you definitely need to read stuff about scale scale is a command and it's just the name is part of this pathway and anything um, linux distributions put in this folder is gonna go in the home directory of the user after a clean install but if you stay rolling that's this video this video is how to stay rolling not to do a clean install then um, the new stuff is in here you'll never get the new stuff unless you copy paste the new stuff over to your home directory and that's what this uh, what we always say the scales did you scale it so it's a, a verb this these days did you scale it means did you use this alias did you copy the config so whatever you have changed is receiving a backup so you can always go back and compare with the melt uh, application it gets the dates and then finally that's the most important bit you copy paste everything from the etc scale the new stuff to the your home directory okay so that's what scale is about so staying rolling means we need to scale that's one thing everything that's in etc scale is now also in uh, my home directory up all is there something from the AOR? Control C. 
yes there is something of the AUR but this particular guy um, just moved jumped from the Arch Linux repos to the AUR and basically we don't need it anymore so why install a package well, or build a package that we don't need anymore so what we're gonna do is remove it but uh, in order to do that I'm going to get a test package that we will release so I'm gonna test it now and then later on we can put it in the main repos so in our little store the store is pacman pacman gives us all these packages but we give also packages right and in the test repo I can I have now a package so update I'm gonna test out this new script scale because it says it's there no nope, I want it on my home directory now it's gonna uh, work and one of the new things let's have some fun first was it yeah alpha that's the new fun script and let's go and have a look what's in there so this Arclinux bin package is referring to a folder bin this is alpha and all this the fun stuff you can run stay rolling that's what we need 2020 we want to go from the edition of 20 of may to 20 of june this was a fix for pamac i don't know if that's needed let's have a look no fix needed these days cool finally solved okay and then uh, stay rolling version one now that's how we do it right so we just compare see what's new and we run a script so qt file style plugin is installed and will be removed now that's what we want to get rid of and immediately everything goes on let's quickly scroll back so qt file style plugins is out aor vote git is out as well since it's orphaned it's no nobody is going to um, maintain it so out it is and this little guy was on arch iso we have a project called carly where we um, where we go from scratch and build our own customized arch linux iso hence the name carly and this used to be in the arch iso so arch linux says it has to be there it's it's essential and a month later it was gone again so um, we can safely remove that guy as well in the meantime the number has changed again i always say that in any video the number is super unimportant but it gives us a clue uh, as to what version you're on all right so we are up to date we are rolling everything is now up to date as you saw there's nothing to do anymore everything is just working fine we remove three packages and that's that have fun